your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends, or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert, under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Ugh, what the heck? Where am I? What's going on? Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. What? How did I get here? <laughs> Get here? You walked into one of my traps in the Mojave, following the Sierra and Madre signal. Now, you're here, with that collar on your neck. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world, just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse? Try and run? Disobey me? I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. I went into that bunker to find some things to fix the Hidden Valley bunker, but... I stumbled into some kind of trap. Well, what do you want? That structure you see above the fountain. The Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. So you've caught other people? Around the world are three other callers like yours. Caller 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here, to the fountain. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. 
If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. I'm still a bit confused here. I already am supposed to getting the treasure of the Sunset Sarsaparilla. Why would you do all this? Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. So they're all dead? The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward? They were trapped out, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. Sheesh, I've stumbled into a battle royale. Where's all my stuff? The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, it takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home, the bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. What do you mean by that? This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever return. All of the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre-war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, more. Use them. Even the villa's toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons. Gather it as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession. A rifle that will keep you alive. As surely as the caller will. He gave me a rifle, because I lost all my other stuff, apparently. What is this rifle? It is a hollow rifle. A weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that tool will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. What holograms do you mean? Ghosts. They fill the villa. More in the casino. Much more. They carry out the functions the dead once did. They cannot be harmed. They only perform the same rote tasks until their power dies. They are of no consequence, except for the security holograms, the ones with the silhouettes of the armored Sierra Madre guards. Security? That doesn't sound that safe to me. Most holograms perform specific functions. The security holograms, ever since the bombs fell, now perform their function. They will kill anyone they detect. They are immune to guns, weapons, EMPs, even energy weapons. Still, they have limitations. Their design limits their field of view, enough to avoid detection. Each has an emitter, destroy or disable it, and they cease to be a threat. Still, at least they still work as intended. Other technology here is more of a threat to you. Notably, the villa's radios and speakers. Radios and speakers? Like the one that gassed me before I came arrived here. 
Yes, music was intended to be broadcast all over the villa. Over time, however, the radio signal has decayed and emits a different frequency. Speakers and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators premature. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do. So I have to deal with them or I explode? Yes, but not immediately. You'll hear a beep from your caller's detonator. When you do, step back, scan the area, and find the signal source. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The damaged speakers are sparking. Are hard to miss. The casings are resistant to vandalism. Punching or hitting them will not destroy them. So how do I destroy the radios and speakers? Gunshots, energy blasts, even spears thrown with great force can puncture their exterior. Shielded speakers can't be destroyed at all. You will need to avoid them or switch them off via a terminal. I'll leave the method up to you. Oh boy. Alright, so you said to find three other people with bomb collars and bring them back here. You know, you're being very helpful for a guy that kidnapped me for reasons I'm still not entirely sure of. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this, I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Uh, who are these people I'm gathering? One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. Yeah, I stumbled into some kind of trap. I don't even listen to the radio. So any suggestions who I should go get first? Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject. The super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from your trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. Uh, where am I going to find him? Travel west toward the Villa Police Station. Follow the radio frequency and the alarms. Although, there's a great deal of interference in the source. Perhaps that's why I lost contact with him. No matter, aside from Caller 8, there should be weapons, armor, at the police station. Go west, avoid the little inhabitants, bring the mutants back. Alright, that's all I needed to know. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Well, this is a fine mess I've gotten myself into. Let's see. I don't have anything except a dead money jumpsuit and a collar. They've taken away all my supplies, and all I've got is a hollow rifle with some bulk cells and only like 25 of them. There's some coins here, maybe I can get them. Sierra Madre chip. So yeah, if you remember the last part, I was trying to find some items that would fix the Brotherhood of Steel bunker at Hidden Valley, but I thought I'd get clever and go to an abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker and look for the parts for it to fix it there. The next thing I knew, there was a cloud of gas, and when I woke up, I was here. And the guy who brought me here and talked to me on that radio said there's some kind of treasure here that people have killed each other for. I was gonna go and get the uh, treasure that I get for collecting 50 Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps, but I obviously can't do that now that I'm here. And I guess for now I'll just have to do what he says and try to find a way out of this place. He said to go to the police station first so I could uh, 
find a super mutant? He said the super mutant brought me here. And that there's all kinds of traps and dangers along the way that I gotta watch out for. Vending machine, what's this? Well, I can make it give me food, but I don't need food. I can apparently return items to it. Cigarette cartons and cigarette packs. So if I find any cigarettes, I can, uh... Dump those into the machine to get Sierra Madre chips? I'll have to keep an eye open for any cigarette packs I find. For now, let's head towards this uh, police station. This way. Find me and we can talk. Who am I even looking for? He said to avoid the villa's inhabitants. Although I don't see anybody. Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. So, I guess there's someone nearby I gotta watch out for. What's this, a shovel? A knife spear. Well, I have myself another weapon, at least. What's this? Dean's secret stash? And there's some kind of or like glowing handprint here. Oh, some bobby pins. I could use some of those. A cosmic knife. I'll take that. Some stim packs. That's what I really need. Because I don't have any of mine, and I had hundreds of them before I came here. Or really ended up here. What in the world is that up ahead? Looks like a guy in a hazmat suit or something. Alright, I got him. What else we got? Ooh, bobby pins. Wait, what the? I just took him out! You just saw me shoot him, right? Hmm. Well, that guy in the hologram thing talked to me and said I have to cut them apart. Let's try this. There we go. I took off one of his arms. Now he should stay down. I hope. He's got some throwing knife spears, as well as another knife spear. I'm probably going to need these Sierra Madre chips, so I'm going to collect them to use that vending machine. What's that say? The casino is the old man's caller. There's a hologram control terminal here. I can activate a hologram. What's that do? What makes this guy appear? I'm not sure what the point of that is. And again, I'm not sure where anything going on here is. Here we are, the police station. He said the mutant I'm supposed to find is here. Find... Uh, something in the... simplest of... beasts? Looks like it says dog, but it's written... like in reverse, like you'd have to look at it in a mirror or something. Yeah, you said that before. My question is, why you even bothered putting a bomb collar on me if radios could set it off? How am I supposed to help you if I get blown up? Did that stop it? I turned off the radio. There's a machine code here for steady. Well, I don't use steady all that much, so that's probably not going to help. Okay, that did stop the beeping, which I'm guessing is the uh, radio trying to set off the collar. There's a gun here. A police pistol. I'm not much of a gun person with Blazer, but... Considering I don't have any of my other weapons, desperate times call for desperate measures. Alright, let's see if I can do something with this terminal. Sinclair visit. Sinclair did the rounds again. Glad he left his ghostly entourage at the casino. Those walking light shows make me wonder why he's even got us on staff when they can blast us in a second. 
Otherwise, Sinclair runs a tight ship. Good to see in these days and times. Don't know how smart he is trying to make a resort to escape everything in the outside world, but rich guys can make it happen. Even ones that have been hit hard like Sinclair has. I'm guessing this guy is the one who built the Sierra Madre holding cell. Nothing much to report. Pretty quiet tonight, even from Puesta del Sol. Imagine Morris up in the casino probably has more than enough of the guests coming in tonight. Set up the radio so that I can listen in on the gala event when it fires up, and left one out for the prisoners. If Sinclair doesn't want us to be too strict with the guests tonight, I may just toss the key in the holding cage with anyone we pick up and let them unlock the door and they sleep it off. Set up the radio room downstairs to broadcast through the speakers. Don't want to miss tonight's performance. The receiver down there is stronger than the desk radios we have up here. Stash some supplies from the evidence room down there to celebrate once my shift is over. The way I figure, the rest of the guards will be too busy to check up on me. Yeah, except, uh, doesn't look like this place was ever open for business. Ah, oh, another radio. This one, right? There we go. Here's the police station terminal. Let's hack this. Oh, that was easy. I can disengage the contraband room lock. Let's do that. Prohibited items. Sinclair's prohibition list is going to be difficult to enforce and told so. He claims we're getting an automated system that should confiscate items even the slightest bit radioactive or foreign and ship them back to their visitor's source address. Asked about items already in the villa, didn't mention the construction crew, and he dismissed it. Of course, no sooner than Sinclair gives us permission speech, his pal swings by the same hour, asking how hard-nosed we were going to be. Told me he couldn't guarantee we could keep supplied if he didn't treat his friends with the same respect. Security system installation. Sinclair installed a new security system for visitors coming into and out of the villa. He doesn't seem to care too much about what they do when they're inside, only that we confiscate any personal items that could be dangerous or foreign and make him and make sure we know who enters and who leaves. Ask him again about the construction crews. As long as there was no accidents. Barely tucked my flask under the desk. Hmm. So that's why all my stuff was gone when I got here. Apparently, for whatever reason, this place has some kind of elaborate security system that takes away anything foreign or radioactive. I'll just have to procure whatever I need to survive this place on site. Great, more beeping. What else is on? I thought I turned off all the radios. Is it over here? It's not over here because it stopped. I can create ghost sight. It gives me ghost sight vision for one jar of cloud residue. Let's see what that does. Oh, it makes my vision green. I don't know if that helps. There's a door to the villa, but I don't want to leave yet. I have to get the super mutant. There it is. It's under that desk. Why would they put one under the desk? Here, I thought that guy wanted me to help him, and yet these things are set like they're traps. Great, more of them. Where is it this time? Behind the door? Nope. I have to find it. I can't move forward or else the collar he put on me will go off. I don't see it there either. I can't open the cell door. There it is. Do I go down there? Is there anything else in these cells? Oh, a skeleton. That doesn't help. It says something on the wall here. Help those who help themselves. So is that dog or God written in that weird text? Alright, guess there's nothing else to do but to descend into this creepy basement. The one in the cage? 
dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps disobeying me. Well, that's a strange voice. So the mutant is so the mutant is dog, the one in the cell. So dog is watching. Hmm. Who's his other voice then? Oh, well, the ghost sight wore off. Great, more beeping. That means another radio or something is hidden somewhere, but where? Can I activate the terminal even though that beeping's going on? Oversaw the street side vending machines installation today. All was working. Finally complained to the chief about the machines. They feel like a company store. We only get a few casino chips with the paycheck, so we can barely buy anything. Chef says, not sure the chips. After another discussion with the Puesta del Sol crew, told Chief it'd be difficult to enforce the prohibition list, let alone the searches. Chief had the gala on his brain, said Sinclair put construction of the villa and more important than patting down the construction crews for liquor and chems as long as they didn't get hurt. No more parking tickets. No more riding parking tickets. Sinclair's laid out the street so narrow, cars can't even come into the villa. Resources being what they are, he may not want folks to waste gas coming here. Well, how would they get here if they don't drive? I mean, I got brought here by a mutant, apparently, after I walked into some trap that I wasn't even ex looking for. Again, I didn't even want to come here. Ah, some treasure. I don't even know what could possibly be worth all this. I don't see a radio or anything. Is it hidden? I doubt it's in that toolbox. It must be downstairs. I'm gonna have to run. Oh, I got past it? Is it in this room? I'm so confused. Well, down and down we go, further into this basement. There's the radio. That's me, there on the table. The disc. My voice. Can't take any chances, though. You may be some victim who simply stumbled down here. If so, can't let you let Dog out. No, not yet. If you're who I think you are, you came to fetch Dog. Use him to drag others here. Now I'll use you and that pip boy you're wearing. You're smart, clever. The key to Dog's cage is simple. Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. So wait, that guy can see me? Where is he? I didn't see anybody in here. Other than the super mutant. Alright, let's take the dog command tape. Play the basement audio log in your pit boy near dog cell. Alright, let's go do that. Alright, let's see if this works. This is the dog command tape. Dog, back in the cage. What did what that do? What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. That's the voice from... Uh, that's the voice from the audio tape that was talking to me when I was in the basement. Who locked you in that cage? <laughs> Locked myself in. Could feel myself letting go. Dogs howling, getting louder. It happens when he's hungry and no one's around to tell him no. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, 
You opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Hmm. In Super Mutants, brain damage is usually a result of prolonged Stealth Boy usage. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog. From clever humans. Like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Huh. Why would you lock yourself in the cage? Let's see, well he said he was trying to protect Dog from me? He said you weren't expecting me. Who were you looking for? Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. I'm here because I didn't follow a radio signal and thought I could find some things to fix a bunker. Like an air filtration bunker. That's what I get for trying to get clever with the quest log. What do you know about this old guy? Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To Dog, he is Master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty. And scorched by the sun. So you're the one who knows how I got to the villa. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Nobody's gonna believe me when I say I stumbled into that trap by complete accident, are they? So you brought me here to the villa, or Dog did. Let's see, I need to get you out of there. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. I'm my own master. If you don't come with me, he's gonna set off the collars, yours and mine. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man, he has the need to hold on to the past, to the madre. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. 
I want my freedom too. I don't want this collar on me. They all wanted their freedom at first. Then, they realized they could get inside the Sierra Madre. After that, their freedom wasn't important anymore. They couldn't let go, just like the old man. So you say you want your freedom? No. Even if you feel that way, it won't last. You'll forget, get greed blind, and you'll turn. I sincerely doubt there's anything in this casino that I could possibly want. It sounds like Dog might be more willing to get out of the cage than you. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. This guy is going to be stubborn, I can tell. I can't leave until we get through this. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. You couldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key to let you out. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Hmm. Those radios, were you using them for signal interference? They were here when I arrived, so I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. More their... voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the... Digestion. Hmm. And the alarm sound outside helps as well. I'm guessing that's also your doing. Very good. Yes. It's another layer of white noise to ensure privacy. Unfortunately, it's also acted as a dinner bell for the residents. As long as the holographic greeter outside is active, however, I can get by them. The holograms fascinate them. Ghost worship, perhaps. I was looking for someone with a collar like mine. I mean, you're a mutant, but I don't... you're not wearing a collar. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here and it's pulling and kicking again. Tugging like a leash. Interesting. If that collar inside of you is active, I didn't switch it on. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. How the hell did you or whoever eat one of those collars? They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, Warm, red. Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. Or until it goes boom. But the key's in there with you, and Dog. 
Yes, but Dog doesn't know that. We don't share everything. Sometimes it's a blessing. Sometimes it causes difficulties. Now I think it's a blessing. It keeps you on that side of the cage. Now, you go fetch. Find your master. Bring him here so we can talk. <laughs> I would if I could. I could just tell Dog he has the key now that you told me. Yes, you could. And once he was out, all starving and hungry, what do you think he would do then? Be careful what cage you open, because he won't go back in it without a fight. He'll tear you apart. He won't care if it kills you both. But if he hears uh, the old man's voice, he'll do what the old man says. You said so yourself. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? I can play his voice. I have an audio log from him on my Pip-Boy. You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... Calm down. If you follow me willingly, I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. I'm not here to steal anything. And also, you're not going to be able to get me uh, on side by threatening me. I'm going to prove it by not doing it. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, the shell is difficult to fight in. Even if Dog is more helpful, we'll manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. I really don't. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Alright, let's get out of here. Very well. Lead on. Oh, it took me a while, but I got him on side. God has given me the In My Footsteps perk. This perk grants me a bonus to stealth, as well as the ability to step lightly around placed traps. There we go. So as long as I have God here with me, I won't set off landmines or bear traps or anything, as though I had the light step perk. Kill this one before they call on you. No problem. That's right, I forgot. I'm not that good with guns. Let's try throwing this at him. Whoa! Here, allow me. God, I need to get you out of the way. Let's use the spear on him. Not on you, on him. There we go. Bear Trap Fist. Bonus limb damage, bonus critical damage. Gimme. You guys want some too? There we go. Who else? God's following me and... Right behind you. Well, I hope so. Here, catch. And these guys are tough. Usually grenades take out enemies in about one throw. Or at least two. This guy's just taking them. Like a real champ. Alright, I'm absolutely sure I got him this time. 
Let's try out this bear trap fist I got. Alright, who wants a piece? I guess that was all of them. Machines feed on Sierra Madre chips. There's codes that unlock other things, too. Yeah, I know about that. I checked it out earlier. Yeah, I can now buy bullets for the uh, police pistol from this thing. I'm not really using the police pistol for fighting. As you saw, it wasn't that effective in my hands. Here's the fountain. This is the right place, right? Yeah. Alright, I'll talk to God. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Uh, what weapons are you good with? Dog is better at the baser instincts than I. I merely have the brain for it. His sinew and muscle are difficult to move consciously. He's always hungry, clumsy, heavy. Hmm, so I guess uh, well, as long as he's God, he won't be able to do that. Alright, that's enough for now. We'll see. Next is the residential district. Pretty sure there's another one of those weird ghost people around. There he is. I'm just gonna take these chips. You just stay right there. Nope, I think he spotted me. That's not him, that's God. Don't punch him. Who wants it? That's enough out of you. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps. Well, great. A gas bomb? Hmm. I think somebody's up ahead in this room. Whoa. Oh, that's right, I don't set off traps. I've got God with me. Still, you have to be too careful. Somebody set up a bunch of shotguns here. Well, he did say people set traps here. Again, I have no idea why anybody would want to kill each other over coming to this place. This place is a nightmare. Somebody want some? He does. Here, catch. Still, you. I see you up there. Missed again. Yeah, hi. Here you go. That'll teach him. Look like there's anything of value in this place at all. And what in the world is this? Some kind of red cloud just over the whole place there. Yes, yes, your traps are useless. They allow me. Well, give him a few more hits just to make sure. Now he's done. Sorry about that, I was trying to hit the ghost trapper. Hope that tourist is hurrying, haven't got all day. That was an interesting uh, voice. I'm going as quick as I can, whoever you are. Hello? Who's in here? ammo, but where's the guy I'm supposed to find in here? There he is. Some suitcases here. Dean Domino. Have a seat and then we'll talk. You're the guy on that poster. Huh. Alright, we'll have a seat and talk to him. 
the Sierra Madre. Beauty, isn't she? She the one who invited you here? No. Or maybe you didn't catch her voice on the radio. Woke up confused like some of the others. Yeah, that's me. You're still breathing. By the way, don't get up or make any sudden motions, no matter how uncomfortable that chair gets. The cushions just for show. Uh, what are you talking about? Might be a bit rude, but that chair you're sitting in. It's got a shaped charge in the seat cushion. Get up without my permission. I'll blast your ass so far through your head, it'll turn the moon cherry pie red. So, let's keep this sweet and polite, and finish our conversation with no misunderstandings. Oh, absolutely. I need your help getting into the Sierra Madre. Oh, of course you do. Now it's like we're married with these big wedding rings around our necks. So, why don't you hear my proposal first, before you start talking about what you need? Uh, sure, whatever. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. I never said you I were. I my necktie beeping. I know what that means. I'm part of this somehow. I want out of this country. And if you put me in it, I'm not going to be too happy. So whatever's going on here, if you're part of all this, you're taking orders from me. Uh, sure, I'll cooperate. What do you want? Good, good. Then we're in business. I may be a betting man, but I like it when the odds are in our favor. If you're here with who I think, then I'd rather have you on my side than his. And it's in the hole. You want to live, I want what's in the madre. Real simple. I'm all in. Let's head out. All right, all right. But you already got company, so tell you what. I'll meet you at the fountain. Don't have to take the long way back. There's a shortcut across the way, you see? Oh, really? It's through the cloud, but if I'm with you, I can help you through it. If you didn't already force the lock to the gate, that is. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just drop down. The fall won't hurt me. Alright, so if Dean said if he was with me, he'd, I'd be able to go through this cloud without getting poisoned by it. Out of my way. Wrong bear trap fist. I'm gonna stomp you silly. Yeah, he's finished all right. Oh great, there's more of them in the villa. Well, these guys hit pretty hard. If I had my power armor, that wouldn't be a problem. Oh great, I'm still under attack, I think. Hang on, let me uh, grab some stuff I used and use it. There's another one. Take that! If you want to fight, I'll give you one. Down you go. Rad Roach. That's not a threat to me. What's this? There's some chips here. Return outfit item. Hmm. Flickering hologram stares at me expectantly. So you got anything I could buy? Huh, what do you know? I c it's actually a store. I came back to the police station because I realized I didn't pick up any uh, equipment like armor to help me out. There's a suit of Sierra Madre armor here. Let's wear that over the dead money jumpsuit, huh? I can even uh, repair it with the dead money jumpsuit thanks to jury rigging. There we go. At least now I'll be protected a little bit from the pl this place. I also found a helmet. 
So I think I'll be looking like this for a while. Just looking like some security guard wearing a bomb collar. Alright, my next stop appears to be the medical district. This will be where I get the last person I'm supposed to recruit. The village comm speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre, pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll shut off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close, you can't switch them off like a radio. Yeah, well, you told me this before. Again, if I didn't have this bomb collar on, that wouldn't be a problem, you know. Listen before you lose a head. There it is, I see it. Even though I'm not much of a gunman, I should be able to shoot it from here. Got it. I also hear more of those ghost people ahead. I see ya. Oh, he's throwing a spear, look out. Knocked him down. No, not... I thought I targeted the ghost person. Oops. Stop punching God, please. Didn't mean to hit him. I was targeting the ghost harvester. Said he was unconscious, but... Clearly, I just punched his head off. Alright, sorry about that. Pretty sure since I'm not on hardcore mode, I won't have to worry about him actually dying. Because, again, if he dies... You die too, so I think you'll still just go unconscious and nothing bad will happen. Alright, sign says the clinic is this way. Oh, great. Back up, God. There's another one of those stupid things. Not the hollow rifle. Get the gun. Where is it? Over there? I don't see it. Oh boy. Well, here we go. There it is. Huh. Right, gift shop. Whoa. Guess we're not going in there. There's the door of the clinic. Are we in the clear? We are not. Oh. Well. There we go. If it isn't the I'm gonna have him part ways with me. You want us to split up? All three of us? Yeah, I'm sure. I'll make more progress on my own. Just don't get us killed. I'll do my best. Alright, I've sent him off so I can go into the here by myself. Alright, so now we're in the medical clinic. Sounds like some of the Please stuff is off. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Well, then how do I deal with them? Check security hologram status. Patrolling second floor. Which floor do I have to go to? Security postings... No. Alright, just keep an eye out for any hologram people and I should be alright. Ooh. Stim packs, yes. That would be helpful. Oh boy, there's one of those hologram things. I'm just a security officer. Can't you tell by my outfit? You aren't gonna move, are you? Oh, yeah, you, there he goes. What's that thing right there? Alright, throw it. There we go. Unkillable, indeed. Took that one out. Hmm, on top of hearing some kind of drill or something going on, I'm hearing a lot of thumping going on in here. Wonder what that could be. 
I found the clinic basement key in this desk. I'm sure I'm gonna need that. This got anything? Disp download dispenser code for medics. This is a restricted dispenser code for the vending machine. Codes for public dispensers. And Claire instructed us to go use them in their use in case of emergency. Why would the guy who built this place want so much medics? This way probably leads into the basement. I have the key, so we'll go in. This is all that's down here, a terminal? Clinic power status. Let's see, powered auto docks and security holograms. Non-essentials are music speakers, which are powered. Let's disengage the power. There we go. Alright, now it's said to meet someone named Christine. I guess I gotta go find her. Apparently there are Mark IX auto docks in this clinic. I can use them to heal crippled limbs. No, well, I didn't really heal me. I'm guessing it just fixed uh, any damage done to my limbs by taking hits. Christine should be in one of these rooms. Wait, is she inside the auto dock? Malfunctioning auto dock. woman before you looks disoriented, panicked. She blinks a few times and winces as if the act of blinking causes her pain. Are you alright? She looks at you again, blinks, opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. She touches her throat, then traces the scar beneath the chin and her eyes widen in alarm. What happened? She looks shaken as she glances at the auto dock and recoils and her mouth opens, but nothing comes out. She looks back at you and her hands clench into fists, her eyes narrowed. She takes a step back, studying you. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. The woman opens her mouth again, winces, then frowns and drags a finger across her throat in a slow motion. She looks more angry than pained. And her hand rushes her collar and her frown deepens. Narrow she traces the edge of the collar until she finds a lock, then proceeds to press it. Uh, don't... unless you want to lose your head, don't do that! She looks surprised, then notices your collar and raises an eyebrow. Well, let's just say we're in this together. She na frowns, narrows her eyes, and then slowly shakes her head. I don't think she trusts me either. Well, we need to cooperate if we're going to get out of here. Between the two of you... Look, together we can work, to we can work together to get out of this. Shakes her head once, then crosses her arms. Look, I'm not trying to order you, but your life is tied to mine. She frowns, glances at the collar, looks back to you, makes a circle, puts her hands over her eyes, then lowers her hand from her eyes, shakes her head, draws a slow line between you. You're looking for someone else. I I'll help you. She studies again, then her expression softens slightly. She shakes her head and gives a silent sigh. She nods at you, then raises an eyebrow, and nods at the door. Alright, come with me. Christine nods, and then steps slightly behind me, waiting. So I guess she can't talk. Christine has given me the signal interference perk. This will grant me a short period of time near a speaker before the bomb collar starts to activate, as well as increasing the amount of time before your own bomb collar detonates by 50%. Now I have everyone. Guessing I have to go back to that fountain. What, what the? Christine stops, glances at the speaker, then glances at your collar. It's a decayed speaker. If we stay too long near one, it goes off. She taps the collar and then opens and closes her hand really fast. Then she does it again. She points at your pip boy, your collar, and then at your collar. After a second, she opens and closes her hand slower. So you can interfere with the speaker's detonation frequency. She's about to nod, then stops, points at herself, and shakes head. She points at your collar, then hers, then nods at your pip boy. She makes a triangle motion. Does that work with any collar? She frowns, slowly shakes her head, opens her mouth, then makes the motion of turning a dial, then points at herself. So then just your frequency. She nods once, then points at the two of you, then the Pip-Boy. 
but only between us. She nods and motions for you to go ahead. All right. So I'm, as she's explaining in her own way, since she can't talk, there's no way for her to... Uh, she can actually slow the collar down. Christine stares at the headless corpses for a second. Then she makes a slow, angry scowl. Yeah, I don't want this happening to us either. Don't worry about it. There's an assassin suit here. How's this compare to the Sierra Madre armor? 16, 14, and a plus 10 to sneak. That's not too bad. Can I put it on Christine? Yes, I can. That's right, there's another speaker. Thought I got rid of it. There it is. Was that there before? I'll just shoot it. There we go. I hear more of those ghost people. There's a 9mm pistol here. Hey Christine, wait up, I got something for you. Where'd you go? She's running down the stairs. Hey! Here, if you're gonna fight those guys, use this on them. I don't see them though. Let's follow you. There they are. Now, oh boy, now I'm gonna throw all the spears at the door. Right, where'd he go? Take this. There he is. Hey, okay, I cleaned up one of these cosmic knives. You want some? Down you go. I hear more of those guys. There's one. There we go, Spears took him down. Let's try talking, talking in quotations, to Christine. Those facial scars weren't done by the autodoc, the throat scar was. I can't restore your voice. We'd need a real auto dock in order to do that. Hmm. I don't understand why it shaved you bald. Hmm. So I the auto dock didn't shave your head. Direction of the casino. No, I want to hear this. You were bald before. She nods an exasperated look, repeats it twice, and raises her hands and waves them like wings. So, wait, that's the Brotherhood of Steel symbol, right? You're a scribe? She nods, looking impressed. How did you end up out here? She shrugs and points to me and shrugs. Basically, she doesn't know, same as me. Where were you before? She moves her finger in a wider circle. You're looking for someone. She nods and raises a finger. A man? She nods. She makes the motion with her hands around her chin, then raises her hands and clenches up at the sky. So an angry bearded man. She points at the Pip-Boy. The man on the Pip-Boy holotape, Elijah. She was looking for him. Alright, let's be going. So, um, she was here looking for Elijah, the guy who brought me here. Didn't Veronica say there was an Elijah? I wonder if it's the same guy. Good! Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be fired off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discussed, one person can't do it. 
So get your team into position indicated on your pip boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. What is the gala event? A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, then travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. The real work? So this is just the warm-up? Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre, we're plundering history. Taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily. Not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. I will head out then. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate. The outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. I've lost Christine's signal interference perk, and Christine is here at the Villa Fountain. So now I have all three of the people I need to bring with me to various places in this weird place. Without carving it into his chest. Mirrors tell me my name would need it. And I have a name for you. Several. Thief. Coward. Showman. Radiation couldn't kill the truth, could it? The truth buddy. Oh boy. These are the three guys I gotta work with to survive this nightmare. Alright, I think I'll see you guys in the next part. Next we'll try to get God here, or is it Dog? We're gonna get him to the next place we need to go, and then from there we'll try to get out of this horrible place. So I'll see you for the next part. Thank you all for watching.